Hello everyone, Merry Christmas. Welcome back to the question answer discussion session. So today's question is, which of the following is known as Christmas disease? A choice, Haemophilia A. B choice, Haemophilia B. C choice, Haemophilia C. D choice, Parahemophilia. And E choice, all of the above. So before going to the question, is this Christmas disease, have any, do, does it have any relationship with Christmas? Absolutely no. There is no relationship with the Christmas day. Let's look into those things. Now, hemophilia, as you all know, it's a bleeding disorder, right? So, hemophilia, it's a bleeding disorder. We all know hemophilia is a bleeding disorder. Normally, you know that blood contains blood contains uh, clotting factors, right? Blood contains clotting factors. And what is the function of these clotting factors? It helps the blood to clot. Okay, so whenever th there is a rupture or bleeding is there, so after some time it has to stop. Otherwise, it can lead to even death. So that clotting has to happen, and the clotting factors uh, helps in that clotting. Now, sometimes what happens in certain people, there will be mutation for these clotting factors. Mutation can happen. Okay, or defect can happen for that particular gene which uh, code for that uh, clotting factors. So when the mutation is there, the Clotting of blood does not happen. Blood cannot or clotting of blood do not happen. It doesn't happen actually. So this, if the clotting does not happen, it can lead to bleeding. So this is called as hemophilia. Now you look at this diagram. So whenever a rupture or a tear occurs, after certain times, the platelets and clotting factors will come into that and will help to clot the blood. So the bleeding will be stopped. But in a hemophilia patient, uh, when a rupture occurs, the since the clotting factors is defective, there will be uncontrolled bleeding. Okay. So that bleeding disorder is called as hemophilia. Okay, so there will be a mutation in the clotting factors. Now, commonly, hemophilia can be divided into the most four types. The, the first one is hemophilia A, second one hemophilia B, the third one is hemophilia C, and the last one parahemophilia. Out of this, the most common hemophilia is hemophilia A. So the most common hemophilia is uh, hemophilia A. This is uh, the second most common. Hemophilia B is the second most common hemophilia. Whereas hemophilia C and parahemophilia, they are comparatively rare. They are seen in less number of people. Okay. So hemophilia C and parahemophilia are rare. Now let's look into uh, this uh, clotting factors. You know that clotting factor 1 to 13 is there. Uh, now, when there is a defect or mutation in factor 8, clotting factor 8, that uh, there will be a deficiency for the clotting factor 8, that can result in hemophilia A. So, that means uh, in hemophilia A, there will be a deficiency of clotting factor 8. Whereas in hemophilia B, Hemophilia B, there will be a deficiency of the clotting factor 9. Okay. So, uh, and whereas uh, in hemophilia C, there will be a deficiency of or there will be a defective clotting factor 11. Okay. So, remember, hemophilia A, there will be a deficiency of clotting factor 8. Hemophilia B, there will be a deficiency of clotting factor 9. Whereas hemophilia C, there will be a deficiency of uh, clotting factor 11. Whereas in the case of para hemophilia, Parahemophilia, there will be a deficiency of clotting factor 5. Okay, so you got an idea about which clotting factor is deficient in which uh, hemophilia, right? So let's summarize that. So let's uh, get into this thing hemophilia A, B, C, and parahemophilia. I told you the most common one is hemophilia A, and it occurs due to the deficiency of which clotting factor is factor 8. Okay, and the hemophilia B, it occurs due to the deficiency of factor 9. And hemophilia C, it is occurs due to the deficiency of factor 11, whereas para hemophilia, it occurs due to the deficiency of factor 5. Now, hemophilia A is also called as classical hemophilia. Okay, it is the most common hemophilia. Whereas factor B, it is called as Christmas disease. Does it have any relationship with Christmas? Absolutely no. Uh, it is named uh, after a, uh, the first hemophilia patient was identified in a Canadian child called as Stephen Christmas. So, Stephen Christmas, a five-year-old five year boy, was detected with the deficiency of clotting factor. So, this Canadian boy, Stephen Christmas, had a deficiency of clotting factor 9. Clotting factor 9. And uh, in that, uh, in the, there was a 
uncontrolled bleeding was there so on his his name this clotting factor was named as a christmas factor so clotting factor 9 was co called as christmas factor so you look at the we have already discussed factor 9 is also called as christmas factor because the deficiency was first detected in the canadian boy Stephen christmas okay so that is why factor 9 is called as christmas factor and uh, hemophilia b that is why it is called as christmas disease because in christmas disease or hemophilia b there is a deficiency of clotting factor 9 which is called as the christmas factor okay there is no relationship with the christmas day okay now hemophilia c it is also called as the rosenthal syndrome and uh, whereas para hemophilia is also called as orange disease okay you need to remember this uh, hemophilia a as well as hemophilia b that is the most uh, important one now let's come to the treatment okay so uh, to treat hemophilia a the one strategy is to use uh, this desmopressin desmopressin abbreviated as dd AV avp desmopressin can be given for mild hemophilia a and uh, uh, normally in the case of severe thing you need to give the floating factor concentrate okay so in uh, hemophilia a you know that this factor 8 is deficient so you need to give the floating factor concentrate especially floating factor 8 concentrate you have to give okay so when uh, you have to give the synthetically made floating factor 8 also you can give this uh, anti-fibrinolytic drug called as uh, tranexamic acid Okay. Ranexamic acid is an anti-fibrinolytic drug. Recently, there is a monoclonal antibody called as emicizumab. Emicizumab. Emicizumab is a an monoclonal antibody which is given for hemophilia A. It can basically uh, replace the function of factor 8. Okay, that is the uh, monoclonal antibody, emicizumab. Okay, so normally desmopressin for mild hemophilia A. This floating factor 8 is the best choice because it will do the function of floating factor 8 because it is already in hemophilia A, there is a deficiency of factor 8, right? So, the floating factor concentrate 8 can be given or the anti-fibrinolytic drug called as tranexamic acid can be given. Recently, the monoclonal antibody which is given for hemophilia A is called as emicizumab, which can replace the function of floating factor 8. Now, coming to hemophilia B or Christmas disease, here also you, the best choice will be to give the floating factor concentrate and which floating factor? Yes, it is floating factor 9 concentrate can be given. Floating factor 9 can be given. Okay, because it is Christmas hemophilia B or Christmas disease is due to the deficiency of factor 9. So, the floating factor concentrate 9 can be given. Okay, also you can try with the, the anti-fibrinolytic drug, tranexamic acid. Tranexamic acid is an anti-fibrinolytic drug. Anti-fibrinolytic drug. Okay. So, uh, coming to hemophilia C and parahemophilia, it's a rare uh, hemophilia. Here also, the clotting factor concentrate and which clotting factor? Yes, clotting factor 11 concentrate you can be given. Also, fresh frozen plasma could be given. Fresh frozen plasma will be rich in uh, factor 11. And so, fresh frozen plasma could also be an alternate treatment. Now, coming to parahemophilia, which is also a rare hemophilia, here the platelet concentrate can be given because platelet concentration contain, platelets concentrate contain the factor 5. Okay, so the bleeding can be stopped or otherwise you can give the fresh frozen plasma. Okay, so these are the treatments for various types of hemophilia. Okay, so hope you understood um, uh, the treatment strategies for various hemophilia. Now coming back to our question, which of the following is known as Christmas disease? So the answer for this question is Christmas disease is nothing but hemophilia due to the deficiency of clotting factor 9, clotting factor 9. Okay, so the correct answer for this question would be definitely B choice. So, hope you understood this discussion session. Keep on watching. Thank you so much.